Hey Saints, it's Sister with a Testimony. And I am at the St. John Missionary Baptist Church. I came, um, spoke here last week. And the Lord has sent me back to just pray over the property. And uh, I just came and just by faith, uh, the pastor that asked me to come out and speak had texted me that they were having a meeting on the 6th of October at 6 o'clock. I didn't think so, but I thought I'd come anyhow and take the opportunity to pray out here. But this is St. John Missionary Baptist Church, and um, it's absolutely amazing. There's a, an anointing on the premises. It's just a beautiful, beautiful piece of property. And it's right on Highway 8 in Douglasville, about three miles north of Highway 8. And um, you can actually find it online and the historical records. But the cool part is is that you're always going to find that, uh, that marker stone. And uh, the Lord had told me to just walk around the building and pray. And I found the marker stone. St. John Baptist Church, organized in 19, I'm sorry, organized 1867, rebuilt in 1946. Reverend L. E. L. Lewis, pastor, Ida Jackson, sponsor, the building committee, C. G. Golden, chair, Dora Golden, Secretary, W.O. Waring, Treasurer, Oza Chanel, and E.L. Hall. You're always going to find one of these stones marking the spot. And um, it, it's just absolutely amazing. I did not expect to see this. And I'm just thrilled, thrilled to know that the Lord is the one that resurrects and brings life into a place. It's got a good roof on it. Really good metal roof. It's just like it's not in bad repair. It needs a little bit of repair. But what it really needs is encouragement and just going around and walking around and praying I could just envision the saints coming in their little buggy and horse drawn carriages and walking up the, the steps to get into the building this has probably been something that was added on later but the original building and the original cornerstone is right there and it is just absolutely um, the presence of the Most High God. You can hear the crows off in the woods. I declare and decree, Hasatan, you've had your way. You've caused divisions and splits. And that won't happen anymore because the Lord has put his hand upon this place. And through many tears and many trials and tribulations, the saints have overcome. And they're going to continue to overcome. And I just give you glory, honor, and praise, Father God. For this is the day that the Lord has made, and I will rejoice and be glad in it. Oh, if this beautiful, beautiful tree could talk and tell tales. Some have been cut down and removed. But this one, it's still there. I praise the Lord. I praise the Lord. Ha <laughs> ha. Father, you are worthy to be praised. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for this beautiful, beautiful sanctuary. You're not done with it yet, Lord. You're not done with this property and you're not done with these people. I declare and decree in the name of Yahushua Hamashiach, who is Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings. These dry bones shall live. Ha <laughs> ha! 
I speak resurrection life. I speak in the name of Yahushua Hamashiach, whose I am and whom I serve, that at the name of Yahushua Hamashiach, Every knee shall bow of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth, and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Lord, let your spirit overtake them, overwhelm them, and be the only spirit allowed here in Jesus' name. I bless St. John Missionary Baptist Church. Amen.